Hi guys, today we're talking about module three, lesson four, and the title of this one is add three numbers. Here's our I can statement. I can use strategies to decide how to add three numbers. Let's go ahead and turn in those packets to our second page, build understanding. This will be task one on your computer, and you're going to find the bumblebees at the top. Let's read that story together. There are six bees at the front of the hive four bees inside the hive, and two bees behind the hive. How many bees are at the hive? You notice there are three numbers that we're gonna be adding together. How can you use a strategy to group the add-ins in any order to solve the problem? Let's take a look at our very first equation they want us to write. We're only gonna be adding two numbers, but there's three up there, isn't there? So what we wanna do is we wanna group two of those together and come up with our our adding or our sum and put it here. And then we want to add the third number here. So let's try that. Our first number was six. Six, we're in front of the hive, plus four, we're inside the hive. Six and four. Let's see what that would make. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've made a group of ten, haven't I? Plus, remember there were two more bees behind the hive. 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna add plus two more. 10 plus two is gonna equal 12. Let's take a look over here in our box to see what it was that we did. We had one, two, three, four, five, six. And here's our other four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's circle that group of 10. So now we have a group of 10, 11, 12. So six plus four, six plus four, plus two more also equals 12. So what strategy did we use? Remember when we put these two together, we made a group of 10, right? So we made a group of 10. Made a group of 10. All right, so if you, need to teach, if you need to pause it a minute so you can write that in, then when you're finished writing it in, come on back and we'll look at our second way. Okay, so while we are back now, Letter B says, how can you use a different strategy to group the add-ins in any order to solve the problem? Well, we've already solved it by making a group of 10. So I wanna take those apart now. And we're gonna still have our four, our six, our four, and our two. We've already put the six and the four together. Can you see another one that would make sense? What if we put our four and our two together? Take a look at those two. They're the same size now, aren't they? We call that a doubles, don't we? We could use a doubles fact. Six plus four, five, six is equal to six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's go over here to our box and let's find out what we did. So instead of this time circling the top two, we're gonna leave that top one six alone and we're going to circle the bottom two box two rows because that also makes six doesn't it six plus six fix that in case anyone's still writing that six plus six so this time we used doubles All right, so let's go ahead and finish our sentence here. So six plus four plus two, six plus four plus two also equaled 12. There are 12 bees at the hive. Again, if you need to pause that because there's a little bit of writing you need to do, go ahead and pause that now and finish your writing. And then when you're finished, go ahead and click play again and I'll meet you back on our on your own page. Okay, boys and girls, so we're going to go ahead and flip past now. We're going to flip past, step it out, 
You can practice those at home if you would like. And we're gonna to flip to our very back page where we see the little boy doing one of my favorite things, reading. And it's on, our, on your own. This will be your on your own section on the computer as well. So number two, Michael reads four books. It's important. Kay reads three books. Sam reads six books. How many books do they read? We're gonna find that out by using our connecting cubes again. So our first number said, Michael reads four books. Kay reads three books. And Sam reads six books. Do you see a combination that we could put together to be able to add that? I see six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I see that we can make a group of 10. So let's take a look. Oh, can you see all those? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 11, 12, 13 books. 13. So let's take a look at how we can explain how we chose the first, which two add-ins to add first. Remember what we looked for? We found a group that would make 10. So I'm gonna put I chose four and six because they make 10. I chose four and six because they make 10. And I bet on the computer, you're gonna need to know that four, that six, and that 10, all right? So again, if you need to pause it for just a minute so you can write that, go ahead and pause. And then when you are finished, click play and I'll meet you back on number three. All right, boys and girls, so now we're gonna solve two ways, circle the add-ins that you add first. All right, so we notice on number three, we have the same problem, six plus three plus three. We have it two times. So we're gonna come up with two different answer or two different ways to solve that problem. First, let's go ahead and circle on number three. Let's circle our six and our three. We're gonna put those two numbers together first. So this time we're gonna use our number line. Six, hop forward three. One, two, three. That equals nine, doesn't it? Nine plus, we still need that three. Do we need to add that three more in there? Nine. One, two, three, and that equals 12. Okay, now let's go over to our second equation. Same equation, six plus three plus three equals what? The first time, remember, we combined the six plus the three to come up with nine. This time, I want us to circle three and three. All right, so our first number is six. Let's go ahead and use our number line to add our doubles, three plus three. Three, hop forward three. One, two, three. What number did we land on? Six. So now we wanna add six more to that because here was our other add-in. One, two, three, four, five, six. We landed on 12 again, didn't we? So you see, you can add two numbers together and then add the third one to that and our sum stays the same. Doesn't matter if you pick the first two numbers or you pick the second two numbers. And in this case, we could have picked the first and the last number as well, couldn't we? 
you know, would have still been the six plus three. All right, good job, guys. So on your on your computer, remember when you're finished, you're going to click I'm done, and then you're going to click um, yes, you want to turn it in. All right, I hope this has helped you understand how some different strategies to add three numbers. We'll see it. Talk to you next time.